to be able to make special ammunition like flamer fuel or rockets, ammunition for battle tanks, storm cannons and artillery, we need to build an ammunition factory. To make a ammunition factory, we need 150 construction materials and a CV. And we also need foundations to place the ammunition factory on. To build a ammunition factory, we press a B to open the build menu and we come to the facilities category. And if we then uh, left click on the icon for the ammunition factory, we get the blueprint for the ammunition factory underneath our mouse cursor. As with every other building, if we hold down the right mouse button, we can change the orientation. And if we change the orientation, we can see that the power connection point for the ammunition factory is next to the door. There are no other connection points around. So if we are happy with our placement, we can uh, left click to place the blueprint, drive up to the blueprint and start hammering in the construction materials. And now that the ammunition factory has been built, we can come up to it and press E to open its menu. We can see in the middle in the production panel that there are two recipes currently available. One is the recipe for flamer fuel that will require four megawatts and 25 seconds. And at the cost of a one heavy explosive material and one construction material. And the other recipe is a six heavy explosive materials plus five construction materials will make one 250 millimeter spigot mortar shell and that will take 30 seconds and also require four megawatts. In the right side of the menu, we can see that there is a stockpile for the necessary materials and for the produced items. There is a status panel which will show us if we have currently enough power to run the factory, which is no. And in the upgrades panel, we can see that there are two possible upgrades. One upgrade is the upgrade for the rocket factory that will allow us to produce the fire and the explosive rockets. And the other upgrade will make it possible for us to produce a large shells for battle tanks and for artillery. Both the upgrades require processed construction materials. The rocket factory requires 35 and the large shell factory is uh, coming in at a hefty price of 175 processed construction materials. To start our first recipe in our ammunition factory, we first need necessary materials for that in the stockpile of the ammunition factory. For the flamer fuel, for instance, we need one heavy explosive material and one construction material. Heavy explosive materials are made by refining sulfur in a refinery and construction materials are made in a materials factory with salvage. To put the materials in the stockpile of the factory, we go to the inventory of our truck and right click on one of the materials and then in the drop down menu, select the submit all to stockpile that will put it into the stockpile of the ammunition factory. And since we already turned on the recipe, we can see that as soon as the materials are in the stockpile, it will start producing the flamer fuel. To upgrade an ammunition factory to have a, a rocket factory, we need 35 processed construction materials. Make sure that the processed construction materials are in the inventory of the ammunition factory. And luckily they stack in the inventory. So we put 35 in and if we try to upgrade it from within our truck, we can see that if we left click on the rocket factory, it says, Modifications cannot be made from within the vehicle. So we hop, escape out of the menu, hop out of the truck, come to our ammunition factory, open up the menu by pressing E again and come to the upgrade panel and left click on the rocket factory upgrade. So you can see we're modifying the structure. Once we're done modifying the model of the ammunition factory 
changed. And if we now open the menu of the ammunition factory, we can see that we gained two new recipes, a one recipe for high explosive rockets that requires one heavy explosive material and two construction materials, four megawatts of power and 25 seconds of production time. And there is the recipe for a fire rocket and that requires a one heavy explosive material and two construction materials, four megawatts of power and also 25 seconds of production time. To start producing high explosive rockets, we simply have to click on the switch behind the high explosive rockets and that will start producing the high explosive rockets. As soon as the rockets are done, the rockets will be placed inside the stockpile of the ammunition factory. And to retrieve it, we can simply click on it. That will start assembling the high explosive rocket. As soon as we're done, we can see that we are carrying it. So if we tab out or we if we escape out of this menu, we can see that we are running around with a rocket on our shoulders. We can do the same thing with a truck. We drive our truck close to the ammunition factory and then press E to open the menu of the ammunition factory. And then if we click on the high explosive rocket, that will start assembling a one high explosive rocket into our truck. And if we shift click on the high explosive rockets, we will start assembling three at a time. 